Hey friends, welcome back to my channel tech to ai Today we are going to address a problem that every computer user faces at some point. Is your computer C drive also turning red like this? If yes, that means your system is literally running out of breath. When the C drive space gets low, your computer's performance starts to drop. It begins to lag and if the space runs out completely, windows can even crash. Recently, I have been facing the same issue myself. My C drive has been warning me for days, flashing that red bar saying it's almost full. Even though I regularly clean my system, deleting temporary files, caches and unused software, my C drive just keeps filling up. So now it's time for a deep cleaning. Today I'll show you a process that can easily free up 100 to 150 gigabytes of space from your C drive and that too without using any external tool. I'll share a few simple tricks that will help you find and remove hidden files that silently eat up huge amounts of space on your C drive. So make sure you watch the video till the end. It's going to be very informative and genuinely helpful. And if you enjoy it, don't forget to like and hype the video so it reaches more people. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel because I regularly post videos about computer issues and their fixes. All right, without wasting time, let's get started. As you can see, my C drive is 386 gigabytes, but only 35 gigabytes is left. Since I use this laptop for content creation, that 35 gigabytes will fill up very quickly. And I can't ignore that anymore. We have to fix this now. Your SSD might be larger or smaller, maybe 100 gigabytes, 80 gigabytes, or even less, but the size doesn't matter. If your C drive is showing red, that's your signal to clean it up. Let's start with the most basic cleaning. You can see I've already emptied my recycle bin, but that didn't make much of a difference. If you still have files in your recycle bin, go ahead and delete them. Next, press Windows plus R. Type temp and hit enter. Select everything with Ctrl plus A. Then press shift plus delete. If some files don't delete, just skip them. I don't have many here because I already cleaned them earlier. But you'll probably see a lot more. Now again, open run and type percent temp percent. Hit enter and delete everything here too. These are temporary system files and cache files that Windows creates automatically. Save to delete. Now let's dig a little deeper into our folders to see which files are taking up unnecessary space. But searching manually will take forever. So here's a quick trick. Open File Explorer and in the search bar type size greater than 5 GB. Or if your version supports it, use the size column filter and choose gigantic. Now Windows will list all files larger than 5 GB. Check each one and delete those you don't need. For me, there's only one large file, so I'll shift plus delete it permanently. Now search again using size greater than 1 GB or select huge size. This will show files around 1 to 2 GB. Check and delete the unnecessary ones. I am keeping one file that I need, deleting the rest. Now let's refresh the drive and check. Look, my C drive now shows 50 gigabytes of free space. We've recovered about 15 gigabytes already. But wait, we deleted so much and only freed 15 gigabytes? So what exactly is taking up the rest of the space? Let's find out. Open Settings, System, Storage. Here, Windows shows a detailed breakdown of what's using space in your local disk. Let's give it a moment to load. Hmm, everything looks normal, but it says installed apps are using 278 gigabytes. That's strange. What did I even install? Let's open this section to check which apps are taking up so much space. 
If you see apps you no longer use, uninstall them. Many unnecessary apps and games take up several gigabytes. So removing them helps a lot. But in my case, I have only installed work related apps. Let's uninstall one that I don't need anymore. Still, that doesn't explain where the remaining 250 plus gigabytes is going. Let's open the C drive. Right click on the Windows folder and check its properties. The Windows folder is only 38 gigabytes, which is perfectly normal. If you find a folder named windows.old, delete it. That's just your previous Windows backup, not needed anymore, and it takes up a lot of space. I've already deleted mine earlier. Now, here's another trick. You can free up to 32 gigabytes instantly by disabling the hibernation file. Open command prompt as administrator and type powercfg-h off. Then hit enter and close it. Now refresh your C drive. See that? We now have 62.6 gigabytes free. Next, let's adjust virtual memory settings. Right click this PC, properties, advanced system settings, performance settings, advanced, virtual memory, uncheck automatically manage, select C, set custom size 4096 megabytes minimum slash 8192 megabytes maximum, click set OK, then restart your PC. Now search for Disk Cleanup, right click and choose Run as Administrator. Keep C selected. Select large items like temporary files, recycle bin, thumbnails, etc. and delete them. I don't have much here because I already emptied my bin earlier, but you might find more. Select everything, click OK, then confirm delete files. Now press Windows plus R again, type percent app data percent and hit enter. From the top, click on the app data folder. You'll see three folders here, local, local low and roaming. Right click local, open properties and let it calculate. While it's doing that, check roaming too. The local folder shows about 28 gigabytes, not too bad. But look at the roaming folder. Oh wow, 166 gigabytes. That's the real culprit. Let's open it and check which folders are taking up so much space. If you use Adobe or similar apps, you'll likely see huge folders here. Hover your mouse to see the size or right click arrow properties to check it. Let's sort everything by size, so the biggest folders appear at the bottom. Here, I see a folder named Wondershare. Let's check its size. It's massive. 162 gigabytes just for this one folder. Let's go inside it.
there's a subfolder named recorded which alone is 124 gigabytes this is from filmora my video recording and editing software it keeps all the raw screen recordings hidden here by default i have already saved my edited videos on another drive so i don't need these anymore i'll delete everything except a few recent recordings Friends, this happens often with apps like Adobe, Nvidia, Xbox game folders, etc. They leave behind old raw data that takes up huge space. You just need to find them and delete them safely. And look at that. We just recovered another 124 gigabytes instantly. Now let's quickly check the local folder too. I notice a CapCut folder that's a bit large. Let's inspect it. Inside there are just apps, user data and videos folders. The video folder is empty. We won't touch the apps and user data folders. If you find any temporary or cache files here, you can delete them safely. All right. Now let's check the C drive one last time. Look at this friends. Now we have 188 gigabytes free space in our C drive. Earlier it was only 32 gigabytes. That means we've recovered almost 150 gigabytes of space. That's it for today's video friends. Tell me in the comments how much space you managed to recover from your C drive. If this video helped you, like and hype it up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll meet again in the next video. Till then, take care and keep your PC clean.